What, what are you guys doing here? Building the road? Drilling. Drilling? Yeah, this is a mine. Oh. So, uh, an old mine and we're... Explo exploring. Exploring for, for more. Gold. Gold. hotel with a very, very squeaky stairs. Anyway, is it raining? A little bit. So yeah, welcome here in Stewart, Canada, British Columbia. And um, today I'm going to do some local exploring. So that was not the healthiest breakfast I ever had. I had a coffee with an apple flop. It's nice though. <laughs> but um, I think it was the only real option in town at the moment. Everything seems rather sleepy still. Anyway, let's fill up Alaska's tank and then I'm off. Riding nice and light today. Because I'll be coming back here. So I'm only bringing uh, some uh, tools and uh, well, basically a tire repair kit. That's all I'm bringing. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> these clouds, look at these clouds. It's like from some movie or something. It's incredible, right? How the clouds are just like hugging the mountains. Beautiful. Alright. Did I talk about the plan yet? I don't think I talked about the plan. The plan, the plan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Imagine waking up every morning at this view. Right, so the plan is to go and see Salmon Glacier today. Hopefully uh, the visibility is going to be good enough. That's the only thing I'm slightly concerned about. If I'm actually will be able to see anything. But anyway, uh, I'm here so I'm going to give it a go. And to reach Salmon Glacier, so Salmon Glacier is in Canada. But to get there, I actually have to enter Alaska. So I think I said in the last video that um, Stewart, where I am now, is right at the edge or right at the border with Alaska. So it's not like Alaska, Alaska, but there are so, um, some islands here off the coast which are part of uh, the United States. They're part of uh, Alaska. So it feels kind of weird to enter Alaska now <laughs> for the first time. But um, yeah, it's the only way to, uh, to get the summer glacier. Oh, wow. I, I honestly don't know how well you can see this on the GoPro, but this is just unbelievably, unbelievably, blah, blah, blah. unbelievably beautiful. I put my goggles on because my eyes are already tearing up. But there's a, what is this? A train, train track. No, it's a bridge. Oh, it's a walking bridge. That's nice. Hi, good morning. What are they doing? Huh? Ah, okay, all right. Yeah? All right. Thank you. I 
there's a logging operation here. You see, they, uh, they put all the trees in the water so they can move them with the barges. Can you see that? See over there? All the, the logs are in the water there. sure it's probably uh, for some mining activities also loading loading barges I think it's quite a lot of industry in the area or well loads of mining actually I mean Stewart basically got big when, when there was a, a bit of a mining boom some gold was discovered it never I don't think it ever really kicked off massively but uh, there's gold in the area, there's silver and uh, well there's still active mines right now I'm not sure what they are mining, if that's gold as well probably this is the border probably, yes see so it's like uh, two, three kilometers from Stewart No border post. That's it. I thought there was uh, was going to be a border post, but no. You're just uh, welcome in Alaska here. Okay. Anyway, I'll. This, so this is Hyder, town Hyder. I will. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll check it out on the way back. I'll uh, have a bit of a look around. But first, uh, I just want to, want to ride to the glacier. Look at Hyder General Store. So we're closed. Anyway, um, yeah, on the way back, I promise, on the way back. So I'm now really pondering, should I do it? Because it doesn't really feel like I'm in Alaska, Alaska. This is not the part of Alaska but that I'm trying to reach and which will be the end of this journey. But then again, I did just enter Alaska and I'm riding here so I think I'm gonna do a small one and then you'll get the big one when I really enter the big part of Alaska so without further ado welcome to Alaska it's absolutely stunning so yeah it's uh, did I already say that about 20 kilometers or so I think 20 or 30 and then I'll be crossing back into Canada to see the glacier but uh, I, I'm loving this hey. I must keep a good eye out for bears especially uh, there's a loads of grizzlies around here and black bears because uh, well, it's the time of the salmon run so the rivers are filled with salmon at the moment so the bears are obviously having a good go at those so uh, there's uh, quite a chance that there's some bears on the road too kind of on their way to from the river Let's see if there's any bears lurking around do you see any bears? I don't see any bears I don't see any salmon in the creek either, so I can understand that the bears are not here either. Let's keep on going. Alright, so here we go to gravel. Pretty sure that uh, it will be uh, gravel uh, all the way. This is awesome! <laughs> I had no idea that this was going to be an awesome ride like this. The waterfall. Oh, I'm entering an avalanche area. Well, there shouldn't be uh, any avalanches now. A couple of potholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a bear, a bear, a bear. 
Oh, it just ran across the road. It was a black bear. She went in here. Oh, there it goes. Oop. Wow, fast, eh? I don't know if you saw it. Small, small black bear. I can already see the Sabah Glacier in the distance. It's right over there. It's not far. There it is, there it is. Can you see it already? Right there. That's Sabah Glacier. That's the toe, the toe of the glacier. And I don't know, it just makes me wonder, like when, when did it reach all the way here? It's possible that, yeah. 20, 30 years ago, it might have reached all the way down there. I don't, I don't know how fast this one's melting. What a spectacular sight. I can see the roads going over there. I think I can ride parallel to the glacier for quite a while. So that's what I'm going to try. Hopefully the road is uh, completely open. I mean, there's still some snow here and there, but I'm hoping uh, not on the road. So I believe that I read that this glacier is the fifth largest glacier of Canada. Look at this! Wow, this is amazing! I, I've never seen a glacier like this while riding a motorcycle and just being able to look down at it like this. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. So you can see the origin of the glacier is over there. And then it just flows down like it's a river. The river of ice. Look at this, that's pretty cool. That waterfall just <laughs> melted the snow here. It's just flowing underneath now. With a little snow bridge, how cool is that? See over there, you can see how incredibly uh, blue the ice is. It 
all has to do with uh, the age of the ice and oxygen. The bluer the ice, the older it is, I believe. Let's just see how far this team is. The road condition is pretty good. I mean, some potholes, but it's nothing to be concerned about. I just don't want to switch my camera off. <laughs> this is just so incredibly stunning here. Unreal. I get some pink snow. Red snow. <laughs> Just wonder until which point the glacier runs on this side. I can't see, it's actually just behind this ridge. No, there's no more glacier on this side. It's just uh, snow and a river. Yeah. That's the end. There's a tunnel here. I believe actually, must be, I believe they use this tunnel when, when there's a lot of snowfall here on the side and you can't pass there. Then you can go through, through this tunnel. No trespassing. I could easily ride over. <laughs> but I won't be naughty today. Although it is calling me. It's saying, please, adventure seeker. But I won't do it. And it's not necessary anyway, because I don't expect any snow to be blocking the road here although maybe I'm wrong there is tons of snow here ah no 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 the road's cleared yeah you can tell by this uh, three meter snowball that this becomes very quickly impossible in winter and springtime. I oh, see this is the other side of the tunnel. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to. Uh, Go through the snow there anyway, so good thing I listened to the no trespassing sign. And I am approaching the end of the road, I think. Some road works here too. They're shoveling still. Not sure. Let me ask this guy. Hi. Can I ask you something? Is this kind of the end of the road, or does it continue? It's pretty much the end. Our camp's just around the corner. Ah, okay. Yeah. What, what are you guys doing here? Building the road? Drilling. Drilling? Yeah, this is a mine. Oh. So, uh, an old mine, and we're... Explo exploring. Exploring for, for more. Gold. Gold. Yeah, there's, uh, there's lots of gold. All right. 
Because there's a mine there as well that I passed, but that yeah, seems to be this, bigger. This is all part of it. Oh, it's all part of it still. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is like the old Scotty gold mine. Okay. And the Grand Duke mine. But uh, we're just trying to open her up again and get enough uh, get enough gold. Uh, are you doing RC or diamond? Just diamond. Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, past the one drill just down there. Yeah. And then there's another drill just around the corner. And these guys are just opening up the road to do more drilling on that side there. Okay. Lots of snow. Yeah. Since when is the road open? We plowed our way in about 10, 12 days ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so I'm lucky to even get it in. Yeah, we had a D8 in that hole and a D6. <laughs> there must have been a lot of snow then. Yeah, right from just before the lookout there at the top yeah just just be about a kilometer on the other side that's where we had to start plowing man oh there was lots of snow there was in that one area where it's quite high up yeah back about three kilometers it was uh when we went through there 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 i was at least 30 feet <laughs> now it's, no. insane so it was, it was really late snow this year right well, it like, was, there was a lot of snow and a cold spring. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been riding. Um, I passed through the United States and uh, Colorado, and I had so many times I had to turn around because there was snow everywhere. Yeah. They also had a really like late snow and cold spring, and yeah, yeah. No. It seems to be the same everywhere. Uh, yeah. Oh well, now you're in. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll turn around. Thank you. All right, well, this is the end of the road then. Ah, that must have been one hell of a job to clear all of this from the snow, eh? Yeah. Mental. Hi. Yeah, they're doing uh, diamond drilling. I've done uh, diamond drilling too in Australia. That's why I was asking, are you doing RC? RC means uh, reverse circulation. It's kind of basically a big hammer. And then you collect uh, rock chips every meter. And then... Uh, Wash them, clean them, and then lock them. And when you're uh, diamond drilling, then you have a, a drill bit which has uh, diamonds integrated in them, industrial diamonds. And that way you can drill a, a whole core, like an entire core. Of course, diamond, diamond drilling is a lot more expensive than uh, RC drilling. It's very, very costly, so... They must have uh, good indications that uh, something to be found here. Well, I mean, as you said, there, there's old mines here, so the area is known to to have uh, gold. Well, I'm going to go back now, back towards the glacier. in my face.
in the lovely town of Hyder. Hyder, Alaska. Here you can see the American flag. It's closed. Oh, okay. Alaska tax free. So then there's one thing left to do, and that's uh, to get hydrized. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Um, well, I, I, I came to get hydrized. Hydrized, okay. How long has this bar been around? Uh, the building was built in the 20s. This bar started in 1956. 1956, mm -hmm. wow. So you're collecting money from all over the world, are you? All over the world. That's so cool. Yeah, a lot of history here. Wow. Okay, here's water for Chaser if you need it. This is water, yeah. okay? Yeah, here's your drink. No sipping, no smelling, straight back. It's 150. After you drink it, I tell you. Oh, okay. After, okay. Okay, well, cheers. Yes. There you are. Congratulations. You've been hydrized. That was with Everclear Grain Alcohol. It's 151 proof now. Oh. Yes. That is, um. Yes. <laughs> strong enough. <laughs> there we are. There. All right. And here's your card you get to keep. You put your name on the top, proof you've been hydrized. All right. There you go. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a pen I can borrow? I do. There. Thank you. You did I it. Think, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what is the percentage? 75.5. 75. 75.5. 75. Yeah. Yeah. So. so am I still allowed to write, drive now? I think you're okay. Yeah. I am. Most people do. So. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you heading to? I'm on my way to Alaska, Alaska. Oh, Arabic. you're up going, heading up. Nice. Yeah. So, I got hydrized. I did it. Now I'm having an apple juice to, I don't know, reduce the alcohol levels. It was 75% alcohol, so it's serious stuff. I had to give that quite some time. <laughs> to make sure I am okay to ride. It's only three kilometers to Stewart, <laughs> but still, has to be okay. So let's see if uh, Canada will let me in again, because yeah, as it turns out, this border only has some sort of check post on the Canadian side and not on the American side. Oh. So let's see. <laughs> so we meet again. They're just checking passport. I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, uh, a bunch of Mexican bikers, very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Not on this side of the border. <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> That was uh, no problem. I had to show my passport. That's basically it. Can't pass this again. What a ride, honestly, what a ride. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I'm now just going to ride back to Stewart. I'm gonna stay there for another night. It's actually quite nice to uh, do some little easy riding today because uh, from Stewart it's going to be kind of long hauling some some long long rides are going to come up I think I have to cover quite some distance so uh, it's just good to have like a half day ride kind of today so yeah that was it for today I hope you enjoyed this video I mean I loved it look look where I'm riding it's amazing um, so yeah if you liked it too please give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below and then I will see you in the next video